good things come in threes, and that certainly applies to these amazing video game series. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game trilogies. For this list, we ranked the finest trilogies in all of gaming. All three games must be held in high regard and have to be directly related to each other, which sadly rules out GTA 3 as well as the Zelda titles, as there's really no three related titles that could be regarded as a continuous trilogy. And finally, we excluded the Super Mario Bros. series since there are two versions of the second game and debate still rages about which is the proper sequel. Some of these games went on to have more installments afterwards, but they still need to be able to stand alone as trilogies. Now move it out! Double time! Number 10, Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. This FPS series does get a lot of flack for being similar to one another, but the Modern Warfare saga kept fans enthralled the whole way through. With Sergeant Soap McTavish and Captain John Price as the stars of these three games, out to stop dangerous ultranationalists, no national monument was safe from destruction. Nukes go off, major characters die, and you've got a front row seat for all of it. Number 9, Jack series. Having one friend become a rodent-like creature might seem like the kind of thing that would ruin a friendship, but it doesn't stop these pals from teaming up to fight evil in these action platformers. Each game sees them take on new enemies, but the two work together no matter who they're facing, even when Daxter's smart-alecky comments can get a bit annoying. We got the moves, eh, Jack? The titles evolved a lot throughout the trilogy, getting decidedly darker from Jack 2, but the gorgeous animation and fun platforming stayed consistent throughout. Are you torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. Number eight, Resident Evil series. You want stars? I'll give you stars. This survival horror franchise has become one of the most important in all of gaming, but it never would have gotten anywhere if it wasn't for the groundwork laid by the first three titles. Wait, don't shoot! Get down! The tale of Raccoon City sees the elite STARS members deal with a viral outbreak in a mansion that's turned its inhabitants into zombies. Let me take care of this. Then the second game takes the horror to the whole city, before the nightmare is put to a dramatic end by a nuclear bomb in the third game, finishing the story. Or not. Number 7, Donkey Kong Country Series. Mario might be the most recognizable Nintendo character, but his old nemesis came first, and his name is on three of the most visually inventive 2D platformers of all time. Although DK is only the main playable character in the first game, his nephew Diddy, who is his sidekick, takes over in the second game with his sidekick being his girlfriend Dixie. Then she takes the lead role in the third game, with her sidekick being her cousin Kitty. <laughs> Whoever you're controlling, hopping around the aisles to defeat the evil K rule in three different roles makes for tons of beautifully animated side scrolling fun. Number 6 God of War series. There will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. These violent hack and slash games aren't for the faint of heart, but they're perfect for a gamer who's got an appetite for gore. They tell the bloody tale of Kratos, a Spartan warrior who seeks revenge on the gods after they fool him into killing his family. All three games seamlessly incorporate Greek mythology into their lore, allowing you to murder the entire pantheon along the way. Sure, we could have done without the Pandora's box plot twist in the third game, but downing those larger-than-life foes can help us forget that. You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos. Number 5. Halo series. Good to see you, Master Chief. The first installment in this series of sci-fi shooters was an Xbox launch title and its first killer app, and the next two games continued to set a high standard for the console FPS. The story of Master Chief and his fellow soldiers battling the alien covenant while also facing the parasitic flood 
is among gaming's most compelling space operas. Clear this sector while we deal with the flood. Appropriately bookended with Chief exiting stasis in the first game, then going back into stasis for the end of the third. After that, did we really need two spin offs and a whole new trilogy? Probably not. Wake me when you need me. Number four Metroid Prime series. Speaking of great sci fi shooters, here's yet another one. In this trilogy, the classic Nintendo bounty hunter takes a new step in stopping a deadly sentient element known as Phazon from spreading across the galaxy, thanks in part to the element taking on her form as Dark Samus. The new style felt like what the games had always meant to be, immersing players in unknown worlds and setting these games up as some of the pinnacle titles in the Metroid series. Number three. Gears of War series. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot you in your asses! We're glad we don't have to live on Sarah, the fictional planet where these third person shooters are set. Nothing up here, just some rats. All three games concern the attacks on the planet by the subterranean Locust Horde, as with each game, humanity gets more and more desperate as they're driven to the edge of extinction. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. A great story is nothing without a great game, and thankfully, Gears of War offers intense, visceral combat to keep you chainsawing through the whole thing. Number 2, Uncharted series. You just don't know when to quit, do you? These action-adventure games have plots worthy of Hollywood flicks, but that's far from all that makes them great. Protagonist Nathan Drake faces high-flying adventures and terrifying enemies, alongside unforgettable allies like journalist Elena Fisher and friend Sully as he travels the world seeking treasure. <laughs> you devil. Whether he finds himself in the Amazon in the first game, Nepal in the sequel, or in and around the Middle East in the third, the scenery is gorgeous and the action-packed gameplay reaches incomparable heights. <laughs> Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Number one, Mass Effect series. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. This thrilling action RPG space opera is simply unlike anything gaming has ever seen. The story of Commander Shepard's fight against the galaxy-destroying Reapers, helped along the way by an innumerable cast of supporting characters, is packed to the brim with unforgettable moments. Not today, friend. But what ensures that Mass Effect gets the top spot is that the choices you make in each game can be transferred over to the next, ensuring that each playthrough is unique and ensuring Mass Effect's place as the true trilogy king. And you know what? We didn't think the ending was all that bad. There, we said it. Do you agree with our list? Which video game trilogy did you binge play through? For at least three top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.